<laughs> Era. What is good, YouTube? I mean, boy, Fred Fletch back here again. I just finished the unboxing video. Um, I got the idea to bring in the management box and start like fitting that together. So when Saturday comes, at least that one step is done. So I'm just gonna show you guys that and then pick back up on the video. Saturday, so hey guys, I just finished putting in the pressure sensors. Put Teflon tape on all of them. Uh, next, I'm gonna put the fittings on this side for the airlines. Uh, those are right here. These are the fittings for the airlines, and then this is the pressure switch right here so they got like teflon already on them but i'm gonna put more all right guys i got the fittings for the airlines i just gotta tighten up these with the wrenches they are it's hand tight right now but at least this is somewhat set up the um, controller plug in right here and run one wire from each sensor up to the gauges. Um gonna figure out what to do with the water trap and the rest. Of course as I'm installing it, but just doing a little something sign right now because I'm anxious I'm anxious is hell. I just sound tired because I am tired. It's late right now, but I'm gonna go to bed. I think this is how it should look. I sent the video to AirTech, so whenever they get back to me, but. So these go to the gauge pods. Um, my boy told me you need the exhaust to have fitting, because you run those outside the car, and that's what lets the air out of the bags. This elbow, focus. This elbow is gonna go Put air into the tank and then these push fittings go to the bags and then that's the pressure switch that I asked them can I run it there so when you get back to me I'm gonna see if that's a valid spot or not if not I can just run it to the tank but I think right there is valid I don't know we're gonna find out all right guys this begin. I had to go inside and get my Alexa so I can got some music jam out, man. Um, I'm about to do this on my driveway, so it's gonna be kind of hard to jack it up. I already have it driven up on blocks, so I was trying to get it up on these big boys, but that wasn't working. So I can fit a jack underneath there and then jack it up from the back. So I just came back from Lowe's. I'm mad I had to go to work today, but I just came back from Lowe's. To get some hardware to mount up the tank and the manifold. The compressors came with its own guns. Took me like 20 minutes to get the coilovers out. So what I'm gonna do now is put the fittings on the bags and then put the bags bolt get the bag bolted up. Then I'm gonna take out the back seats. Oh take out Take out the back seats. I wonder if I should do the trunk first. I'm gonna do the trunk first. I'm gonna put the bags in, then do the trunk. So once I get the lines on the bags, I'm gonna put the camera up, putting the bags in, bolt those down. Then I'm just gonna mark the floor in the trunk where I want to drill holes. Take that apart and then take out the back seat and run the front lines. Hopefully, I can run the front lines to the trunk at least before the sun sets today and i'll finish the rest in the morning so let me get to that
right, so now I need to take these top hats and put it on to the shocks for the, um, the rear. So I just need to put it on there. So let's take that off and then I can throw the rear bags in with these and then get to marking up the truck. Rears are in. I just need to get the, um, a shorter bolt, two bolts. Um, front is in. Uh, I'm gonna go jack up the other hub and get that in. I'll sh record me struggling with that side. Um, after that, um, I think I'm gonna just take out, I'm gonna mark up the trunk, then take the trunk apart take the back seats out and then the sun is setting so I'll probably I can see if I can get the two front lines ran through already if not then uh, tomorrow morning it's not a biggie the bags are in all four so I just got to go to the store and get two bolts for the back so yeah sun setting gang all right, so. I'm about to do them facing this way, so I can just run the compressor. I mean, I could do it. I'm gonna flip the tank and see if I could do it with those facing the back. So I'm gonna put the water trap here. This is tight and ready, and then the other one is tight underneath. That's tight, that's tight. I'm gonna check over all these anyway, but let me go get the compressors and the manifold so I can, uh, Mark the holes and then take this. Out. I'm gonna do it like this. So, what is? I'm gonna drill holes through that and drill holes through the compressors. Just make sure these are like perfectly aligned. Um, it may be ugly putting the relay right here, but I'm gonna put the relay right there. I really don't care. I just want to air out. So. Sound like this. Uh, let me just make sure these reach to right here. So, let's see. Do it a little closer. This is why I was gonna do the porch facing forward. So let's do it right there, like that. Like that. Probably hide the relay right there. Yeah, probably hide the relay. Let's. like this so make sure this one works too Weird. 
Let's make sure there's no screw in. So, yep, it reaches just like that. So, let's get to drilling, guys. So, like that. So I'm doing like this. Okay, I have the holes drilled for the compressor right there, and I have pilot holes made for the manifold right there. Uh, I can drill holes for the relay later. Uh, once I get the uh, manifold mounted, I'm gonna like make a big hole right here to run the air lines underneath the floor. Same with the exhaust lines, I'm gonna run it through there and then go back out through there. So let me take out the sub box in the back seat and yeah, subs out. I got the trunk. I mean, the trunk. Got the seats out now. What I'm gonna do is can I easily lift this up. Yeah, I'm gonna run the lines through here. So I'm about to take this out. I got the gauges. You see, I got the gauges in there. Can you see? Turn on the light. Is there a mosquito in there? I got the gauges right in there. So I'm gonna have to take out this whole center console. So let's see if you guys wanna watch me do this again. Oh, damn, lighting in here is trash. So I gotta take this back piece off. In order to take this off, Try on the side. Let's start at the bottom like that. Just like that, guys. Uh, just plug this connector like that. Throw these in the front seat. Um, unbolt these tents. should be looking like this uh, and then the rest you do up front uh, I don't really need to show you guys how to take out all this I have videos doing that um, let me just take out this centerpiece I'm losing daylight let me take the centerpiece out and then show you how it does driver's side airline is ran into the car so I run it through right there then it comes out Next day, I have the front lines ran all the way through here to the trunk. Uh, now, I'm gonna run the rear lines and the exhaust through this grommet right here. That leads to outside behind the fender well. So I'm gonna take this out. AirTech said I don't need the bolt on the bottom of that. Once the air fills up in the bag, it's gonna stay stationary, so they do have a point. So let me um run those lines and then work on the trunk setup. I already started started drilling holes and made a cutout. I have to make that cutout a little bigger um, to run the lines without kinking it. And yeah, I'm starving, but gotta get this done. Running the rear line. You there? I'm also gonna run. You gotta peel this back, and it's right there, right there. Also gonna run the exhaust through there too. So, I think I got enough line left. They give me 60 feet. Um, those reach all the way, so just pull this. This is gonna be rear right. 
get it in there. Just like that. And I've been labeling them. Label the lines. So front left, front right. This is gonna be rear right. Um, so see, I'll basically run them so they hang over the bumper. So I know it's long enough. So let's run that. And then the next side, and then run another one for the exhaust. All the lines are ran. Um, this is all the line I have left. So I gotta run an exhaust from there and there. I might take this off and run it through back here out because I don't think I have enough space to run it over there. So when it airs out, you're gonna hear it from back here. Um, my boy Dan pulling up, so I'm gonna see what he says about that. Um, right now I'm about to finish drilling up so I can start putting the trunk back together and running power. So let me just do that and get you guys updated. All right, quick update. All airlines are ran. I drilled through there. I drilled through there, there to run the lines. Um, my setup, the AirTech Stage 2, you have to run the wires. I ran the wires up front. Uh, these two are the front left and right, and these two over here are the rear left and right. Controller. Um, I'm just getting the floor like kind of situated so I can run the power and. Yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. So I have this all set. I'm just gonna, I need to figure out how to run the exhaust. My thing is I might run it through here. Run the exhaust through here. Do one of the grommets where I have my reflectors at. And then same for this. Uh, this is the, this wire right here is gonna be ran up to the front so when the key turns on compressors will turn on this ground it right here see that make sure you strand that down to metal uh, got this got the holes for the compressors uh, putting relay here relay right there compressor wires uh, power wire from my battery so we're getting there, we're getting there. Guys, this is working out so perfect so far. So you see a lot of everything. I drilled holes to run the wires for the gauge pods. So this is the front left, front right. I'm about to run the rear through the other side. And then put, I told you bro, that shit, that shit huge. And put those in here, plug them up. It's just a lot of wires right now. Got these guys here. I mean, I think that's what you meant that. Alright, right, guys, so this is how the gauges are ran. It is plug, it's plug and play. So, just run this shit back in there. That one's already mounted. And it's got to hook up this. Fuse, I mean, hook this up to a fuse on a fuse box, put the um, ground on for the compressor, and then put the battery on, and fingers crossed, hope for the best. Right, guys. Moment of truth. Whew. I'm nervous as hell, bro. Just gotta put the battery back on, and see what we got going. Fucking nervous as hell, yo. All right, what's that? Oh, you you snipping them? Yeah. I'm about to turn this shit on. Whoo! Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. I don't got no power. Battery dead. 
guys. This is the thing about going with a setup that you barely see installations on YouTube. So I think I got it figured out. There was no power to the gauges. Turns out there was an extra harness I had to run. Um, pressure switch was leaking. The Teflon tape, um, I put it on in the wrong direction. So I'm going to hook everything back up right now. Well, I'm, everything's hooked up. I'm just going to put the battery back on and see. But I don't know why the compressors turn on when the car is off, bro. Like, that's not supposed to happen. Uh, this is, we got power, but it's showing zero PSI. Little check. I'm gonna let that build up pressure and see if the bags fill up finally. Cause there right now they're still all loose. Let's see guys, hopefully, hopefully, man. hopefully we're good. Alright, yes sir. We good. I just gotta check the bags. I just gotta check the bags for leaks. I gotta make adjustments to the front. I want the front to sit like the back. Cause that's all the way out. The back is at 10 PSI. So, man, look at it. Fender to lip. Oh my God, dude. Uh, I'm about to shower and I gotta go ahead to this car meet with these dudes. The car is friggin' filthy, dude. But, see all this shit looks so damn good, bro. Oh my God. Alright, guys. Car ride, it was riding good as hell so far. Like, I'm riding at 34, 33 in the front, 34 in the back. It's like fluctuating. I gotta fix that leak. But, um, this is basically like the ride height I was on coilovers. I just gotta fix that leak and I gotta fix this uh, compressor staying on constantly. Air Tech got back to me and told me what to do, so I'm gonna attempt that tomorrow. Um, I gotta get a test light, and then I'm gonna try to fix that tomorrow, and adjust the front, but other than that, it's good, man, but I'm about to, uh, I'm heading to this car meet right now, so, yeah, let's see how that is, get, go there and get their reactions to me here and out. Dark as hell out of here. Yeah, I have to on my phone, but hell. I made it outside, but oh my focus. Shit. Babylon did it. Watch out, eat it there. Hella dark, though. Like this. Day two, uh, I had to, I had six leaks, but then I was like, I was doing this, like, I wasn't rushing, but I was trying to get the car uh, done to make it to a car meet, 
Um, so I had six leaks all in the trunk. None of the bags are leaking. Uh, all five fittings on the tank was leaking. No, no. All five fittings on the tank was leaking. So I had seven leaks. Front left fitting on the manifold was leaking. And the pressure sensor was leaking. So I took it all apart. re tefloned it. Retightened it. Put it back together. Then I had to fix my issue. Um, the relay. The remote that I ran for the compressors to turn on. Um, due to the wrong fuse. My boy Brian. Um told me run it to this fuse because he had the same issue with his airlift and it was staying on i'll drop a picture of the fuse that i hooked it up to if anybody is doing this on their temp gen um hooked it up to the right fuse put the battery back on compressors that do not turn on so that's good but before i'll put the battery back on and the compressors turn on automatically and then because i have the stage two the gauges now, that was another thing. It was staying on because I had too strong of a... Um, you need a 12 volt constant ground and a remote. The remote that I was running is always on. So I touched it to that. You hear the gauges beep and turn on. Put it to another fuse and nothing. Turn the ignition on, it turned on. Turn it off, it turns off. So that's how it should be properly done. I'm gonna go outside, do a little walk around the car. I'm about to wash the car with my boy Brim. He outside, he got the six speed 2.0. So, I'm gonna go do that real quick and then finish this video up. That's gonna be the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a wonderful experience for me. My camera about to die, so hopefully it don't die. Let me just finish this out real quick. It was a great experience for me. Uh, nice learning to do all this myself versus paying a shop to do it. If something goes wrong, I know, Romy. All the leaks, I knew, cause I did it myself. So I mean, I figured it all out. Um, just came from the car wash. About to just wrap up. Go inside, shower, and we'll see my girl. So, comment, like, and subscribe, man. Stay tuned for the next one, man. I'm gonna do a little update. Uh, probably like two weeks. Uh, comparison versus bags and static. So, stay tuned for that.